Cindy Lopper has had an incredible week so far. This past Sunday, she was named West Hollywood Pride's Lifetime Ally Icon. She was profiled on CBS News Sunday morning, and today she joined the many stars forever immortalized in cement. Singer, songwriter, and activist Cindy Lopper cemented into Hollywood history. The 80s icon adding her hands and footprints to the courtyard of the TCL Chinese Theater. I just want to say thank you. Um, and it's, it's really a surreal moment because, you know, I love glamour and I love Hollywood. Come on. Thank you. There to cheer her on, friends and fellow musicians, Cher and BB Rexa. She's talented and we did it. One time we were on the Divas together and we were doing Turn Back Time and I'm singing it and I'm really feeling good about myself and she comes out and blows me away. So, and we've been friends ever since. Not only was I drawn to her infectious melodies and her edgy style, but it was most importantly her unapologetic nature to be her true self, her true authentic self. She helped to empower me, not only as an artist, but most importantly, as a woman. And all of a sudden, we all heard it. And on this day, Paramount Plus releasing the singer's new documentary, Let the Canary Sing. The documentary, now streaming, will take viewers from Lopper's humble beginnings to her strong and steady rise in the music business. She had something to say, and she's going to fight the fight. Time after time, one of my favorite songs ever. Hey, We turned it out. The documentary will also touch on Lopper's activism. She's known to fight for the underdog, especially women, people living with HIV AIDS and the LGBTQ plus community. What's not to love about Cindy Lauper? She's given so much of herself. I love her personality. I love that she's true to herself. Um, quirky, unique, beautiful, kind-spirited. I love her so much. Up next for Lopper, a 23-stop farewell tour, a first for her in more than a decade. Tickets for Lopper's 2024 Girls Just Want to Have Fun farewell tour are now on sale. She will perform at the Intuit Dome in Inglewood on November 23rd. I'm Juan Fernandez, KCAL News.